Hello. In this particular video, we will see how a civil engineer can earn minimum of the minimum 1 lakh per month. When I am earning, why can't you people? I am just having 10 years of experience in the field of civil engineering and structural design, but I have expanded a lot of things in my consultancy, not only doing a design or construction, we do a lot of things. So if you start implementing all these things in your regular consulting activities, even you can earn minimum of the minimum 1 lakh per month. We'll just see one by one what all the things we are doing it, what you can do in your actual practice to earn this amount. The first thing is the building licensing. Each and every person who is going to build a building, he requires a license from the government for which a civil engineer, a licensed civil engineer will upload his documents to the government and get approvals from the government to start his construction. So the first and the foremost thing here is a preparation of the blueprint. So what, what is a blueprint? Blueprint means it's a drawing which will be in the color of blue. Okay. Previously it was in the hard copy. Now it has been changed. We are doing online upload also. But still it is in practice to give hard copy of the blueprint in some of the places. So what a civil engineer will do here? So we get 4,000 rupees to prepare a blueprint. Minimum of the minimum for per file until one for one person get 4,000 rupees. Okay. So license drawing as per the government law. By laws, you have to prepare the license drawing. Then you have to upload it online with the supporting documents or hard copy of the blueprint. One and the same online upload or the hard copy. You have to see all the documents related to it for which you will be charging 4000 rupees per file. Next, the documentation. For example, if he is not having a proper documents to upload the files, for example, e -Kata, a lot of documents are there as per the government rules and regulation. I have given just two examples tax update. This you can get it done from the local authority by a known person you are having in that particular department for which you'll get as a commission or as a consultant fee 1000 rupees per file. So if I do one file per month, I'll get 5000 rupees. Okay. So softwares, what we are going to use, we are going to use the AutoCAD to do the drawings and all and the software government approved software is called Nirman where we are going to do the online upload of the documents. So if, it, if I do the building licensing for one file, I'm going to charge 5,000 rupees. Okay, minimum. Next, working drawing. What is a working drawing? Working drawing means the drawing which they are going to use it for the actual execution of the project. Okay, so we generally, I'm telling the normal market rates what exactly it's running for a small consultants, not the big consulting agencies. Okay, not as an architect, I'm telling you. This is our forest person who will directly come to you and you are a civil engineer, they will ask you to prepare a drawing on your own. Okay. So we will do the drawing for them. So in that situation, what we are charging on an average residential building, we are charging in between five to 8,000 rupees, commercial building five to 10,000. If I want to prepare a master plan, for example, the person is having one acre of land. He want to develop a resort. He want to develop a homestay. So there are a lot of activities will be going on. For example, if he's developing a resort, he has to set up a lot of, uh, Villas, kitchen department, dining department will be there, store will be there, kids playing area will be there, different activities area will be there, road will be there, access road, power house will be there, where the power, uh, the generator and all has to be kept, underground drainage system has to be provided. So in this situation, what happens is you are going to charge a little bit more compared to a normal draw. So here we are charging anywhere in between 20, 20 25,000 rupees. So what are the different drawings we have to give there? The working plan we have to give the basic electric and plumbing drawings. If it is a big master plan, then we have to give the location of different building, drain, road, etc. we have to provide. So on an average, we will get one to two projects per month, maybe residential, commercial, in, in a combination, we will be getting 20, 25,000 rupees, around so we can earn per month, okay? So the software we are going to use here is the AutoCAD software to do all these drawings. Next, soil testing. Actually, we are not going to do the soil testing, but we refer the client to a consultant, maybe in other cities like Bangalore, Mysore, Hassan, or any other city, and we will get the people from there. For which we will get a professional consulting charge for referring 1,500 rupees per pit. Okay, in general, three to five pits minimum of the minimum will be done for residential or commercial building. So on an average, if I take two projects per month, six pits, if I'm going to get six to 7,000 rupees per month, easy. Okay, if I do one project also, I'll get uh, 4,000 rupees per month as a professional consulting charge. 
okay what are the results general report we are going to generate it there sbc of the soil will be there ground water table the ground water whatever the water table is there in the particular site will be given sieve analysis to understand the type of the soil we are going to give this so depending upon this values the structure and unit start is structural design so here we are not going to use any software that third party consultant he will generate the report and he will give it to you in turn he will give it to the client so next the main part as i am a structural design engineer we do the structural design and detailing so for a residential house we charge 4.5 rupees per square feet of the roof area average 12000 rupees per project commercial project 2 to 3 rupees per square feet average 15000 rupees per project here we are going to use cad pro ms excel tech class structures revit autocad lot of softwares for analysis design and detailing okay so if i get one commercial and one residential project i'm going to make 27000 rupees per month i'm telling you per month okay next if you are very good in 3d exterior or interior design we do uh, basic 3d exterior and interior design not the highest like like how the architects are doing it we are not doing it that much that extent but for a common man who is who cannot access the architects okay his budget is very limited for them we are doing it for residential or commercial project exterior we are charging 6000 rupees per view like the front view side view and all those things interior design we are charging 8000 rupees per view so we are using sketchup vray and inkscape 3d for rendering and all those things so here if i get one project per month i am going to earn 14000 rupees one view okay 14000 rupees per month then we do have dealership of cement dealership and ready made wall installation cement dealership we are having dsw cements and ready made wall we are having everest dealership so if i sell one bag per month i get 15 rupees if i sell 100 bags 1000 to 500 rupees is mine like that so ready made wall 10000 rupees per square feet the wall will come 2 feet width and 8 9 10 feet height so if i put one wall panel okay of 200 square feet i am saving 200 sorry 20 square feet i am saving 200 rupees per panel so like that per square feet my saving is 10 rupees per saving we are going to see how much i am going to earn at the end of this particular session next i do a lot of site vision site visits and supervision okay wherein we are not going to do any drawings any details nothing the client will give you all those things and he will ask you to see the quality and whether the whether the work is exuding as per the drawing what has been provided so the quality inspection is very important as a site supervisor or a site visit engineer okay here we are going to charge 3000 rupees per visit if the site is there inside the city limits if it is outside the city limits for example you can take 5 to 10 kilometers outside the city limits then we are going to charge 4000 rupees per visit if i do one visit inside and outside site i am going to earn 7000 rupees per month okay so here the drawings and details will be given by the client so in case if you have done the drawing if you have given the details also still you are charging the site visits or supervision charge you are not a site engineer you are not going to stay in the site you are going to tell the person concerned person in the site what exactly has to be done okay you will not be standing there from morning till evening for the 3000 rupees okay you are going to stay there for around one hour you are going to spend one hour of time you are going to tell them how much amount of cement has to mix with of course aggregate fine aggregate how it has to be laid what are the procedures like that you are going to do a lot of uh, quality control activities on the site next construction work it depends upon every individual we do a lot of residential commercial and institutional buildings like schools we are going to do we are doing it so it depends upon how much income we are going to do it so if we do it properly we get a very huge amount of income in this construction activity so now we will see how much i am earning per month okay we'll just see here so by building licensing if i do three three files per month i'm going to get ten thousand rupees working drawing if i do two projects per month consider a residential commercial it's a mix match i'm going to get twenty five thousand rupees per month if i do soil testing of two sites on an average on an average of three pits per site i'm going to get nine thousand rupees as a consulting chart if i do structural design of one residential and one commercial project per month I'm going to get 27,000 rupees per month. If I do one, two views, like one exterior view and one interior view, only two views, if I'm doing it, I'm getting 14,000 rupees per month. By cement dealership, if I'm going to sell 500 bags per month, on average, we are doing it more than 500 bags. Okay, 7,500 rupees per month. If I'm doing ready-made wall installation of 1,000 square feet, 10 rupees per square feet, 10,000 is mine. 
So construction work on an average, you can take 20,000 rupees depends upon how much project will take 20,000 rupees per month. So on an average, I'm doing 1,22,500 rupees per month as a civil engineering consultant. I'm not working for any company. I'm not working for an MNC. I'm working for myself. Okay. Uh, during 2010, I finished my MTech. So during 2010 to 2010 to 2014, I worked as a assistant professor in one of the engineering college during which I developed the consulting, what do you call the behavior in myself. Okay. So I started giving a lot of consultation works. Okay. I approached the clients. I approached the architects. I approached my known persons in my family. I told them we are doing this. So in my 10 years of experience, we have done many projects, particularly structural projects. I have handled more than 500, 450 projects till date. Okay. So still we are handling a lot of projects. So guys, don't worry. Civil engineers can mint money like anything. The only thing is first invest in yourself. What exactly you are doing it. If you are a fresher, if you are working professional, if you are already working, okay, for a company, you see to it, what is your skills, what you can do it, the market, okay, you are working for a company, good, you are getting a salary, handsome amount of salary, good, don't take this risk. So if you are coming into the society as a consultant, you are taking a risk, okay, because a lot of activities you have to do it, you have to do a lot of time management. So I have actually put up a course called the ultimate mastery in the field of civil engineering how to set up your own consultancy in my youtube channel it's a separate uh, playlist is there you can go there every week i'm posting two videos there is a total of 30 videos are there in which you can develop the skill of becoming a structural consultant or a general consultant okay you can become any kind of consultant if you know the particular basics of it okay i'm a 3d consultant okay i need help of a civil engineer i need the help of a structural engineer I need the help of a contractor, correct? So there is an interdependency in civil engineering. So what you can do is you can do multitasking, okay? Divide the time properly and uh, properly approaching the clients. So depending upon which you can earn minimum of the minimum one lakh per month. 